Today we are diving into an exciting topic about two semiconductor chip stocks. They both have tremendous potential to give huge returns to the investors in the next few years. And also the growth of semiconductor manufacturing in the United States and how the local manufacturing could benefit these two stocks in the long run. This is going to be an exciting analysis about semiconductor manufacturing in the United States, the government support to the semiconductor industry and the growth of stocks engaged in this domain. So if you are looking to invest in the future of technology, then this video is just what you need make sure to watch the video all the way through the end so let's get started thank you again for joining me today i am pankaj as always everything shared in this video is for informational purposes only but if you hit that like button below that would be a huge contribution in the growth of this channel the u.s government is making a big focus on the semiconductor market and its importance is not hidden from anyone we all know why chips are crucial for everything from cars to smartphones computers and the artificial intelligence industry and many more the major effort in this area is the chips and science act enacted two years ago in 2022 this act has accelerated investments in the united states semiconductor industry the u.s government has awarded nearly 30 billion dollar in federal grants and $25 billion in loans to seven companies to boost semiconductor chip production in the USA. Due to these government initiatives and massive investments, semiconductor manufacturing capacity in the United States is set to triple by 2032, with a projected growth of 203%, which is the largest projected percent growth in the world over that time period. Today, we are focusing on two companies who benefited the most from this government initiative and also from the surge in the demand of chips in the market. First up, Micron Technology. Micron Technology recently got a major financial boost when it received $6.1 billion in government funding under the CHIPS Act and up to $7.5 billion in loans, a total of almost $14 billion. This funding will support Micron's $50 billion plan to build advanced chips in the US by 2030. Let's check Micron's finances before taking a further look at its growth prospects. Micron's share is currently trading at $125 and its price has gone up by almost 92% in the last one year alone. Its market capitalization is almost $142 billion and price to earning ratio is 171 which is very high. Which indicates that the stock's price is very high relative to its earnings and that investors can expect a very huge growth rate in the future. Micron's last quarter revenue was almost $6 billion and it was able to beat its revenue forecast by almost $474 million, which indicates that the company's finances and its growths are moving on the right track. Micron was the third largest supplier of Dram chips last year. It had a 23% market share in Dram chips. Due to the growth in artificial intelligence, the demand for their high bandwidth memory chips is booming. Being the first company to ship high bandwidth memory chips, the company has revealed that it has managed to sell out the entire supply of its high bandwidth memory chips for the year 2024. While most of their 2025 production has also been allocated as well, it does show that the demand is very high in the market for high bandwidth memory chips, which is manufactured by Micron. Further, the memory market is expected to generate $338 billion in annual revenue by 2032, compared to $134 billion in 2023. With increased production capacity, Micron is set for long-term growth which will benefit the investors manifold in the long run. Assume that Micron earns $10 per share in the next few years and trades at 30 times the earnings, which is in line with the Nasdaq 100's earning multiples. The stock price could rise to almost $300 per share. That would be an almost 250% jump over the current share price. Furthermore, the long-term growth opportunities in the memory market and the company's focus on growing its capacity could help the stock deliver more earnings in the future and could even triple the stock in the long run. Next, let's talk about the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, which is also benefited from the government's Chips and Science Act. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, received $6.6 billion in direct funding and $5 billion in loans from the U.S. government to support its U.S. manufacturing expansion. With the support of almost $12 billion, they are building three fabrication plants in Arizona with a total investment of $65 billion. TSMC shares are trading at $151 and its market capitalization is almost $688 billion. Last quarter, its revenue was almost $18 billion and it surpassed the revenue estimate by almost $225 million. This gives a great confidence in the company finances and its future growth prospects. Further, TSMC is the world's leading foundry with a 61% market share which is far ahead of Samsung, which has a market share of only 
They are rapidly expanding to meet the strong demand for advanced process technologies used in AI chips. This dominant market position tells that TSMC is in a solid position to capitalize on the overall growth of the semiconductor market. Residence research forecasts that the semiconductor market could be worth an estimated $1.9 trillion in 2032, compared to $664 billion last year. TSMC is well positioned to capture a significant portion of this growth. Wall Street analysts are expecting that TSMC's earnings will grow at an annual rate of 21% for the next five years. With continued growth, TSMC's stock price could more than triple in the long run. In summary, the growth of semiconductor manufacturing in the United States is creating huge opportunities for companies like Micron Technologies and TSMC. Investors looking for long-term gains might want to consider this stock in their portfolio. Write down in the comment sections if you got something out of value in this analysis. Also, if you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more financial insights. Until next time, happy investing.